So today we're going to do a trick, which is to make a voltage difference out of falling water. And I'm going to say that we can generate 10 kilovolts of voltage just from water falling through this container. So the water will fall down and it will travel through these um, hollow metal tubes here and land in these pails. So let's have a look at the physics. So here's our trick, create 10 kilovolts voltage difference from falling water. Um, the principle we're going to use is that electric charges um, are induced in fluids and conductors when they are near uh, electric fields or voltage differences. So here is our setup. We have water falling through these um, hollow metal tubes into these pails. And randomly, this is our random event here, a piece of dust with a little bit of electric charge floats over and lands on one of our pails here, one of our conducting pails. Now this is a conductor, so the electric charge will distribute across this whole conductor. And therefore, this water that's falling through will see this negative charge uh, over here. And this water will, which has it's deionized water actually, so there's no salts or anything in it, but the water does have uh, H plus and OH minus ions in it. And so the H plus positive ions will be attracted to this negative charge. So what would happen next is this positive charge will sort of drip down into the pail here. And it will charge up this pail, and this whole conductor is connected all the way over to this side over here, where you might kind of guess what would happen. We get OH minus ions that are attracted to these positive charges here, so we're going to get negative charges falling down here. And this water will accumulate, this negative charge accumulates, and we're going to get more negative charge transmitted over this conductor which would, of course, attract even more positive charges on the left. And we're going to get a loop, and as this loop continues, we're going to get more and more charge building up on these conductors. And we see it build up, and what we're going to do is measure the voltage difference between these two conductors and try to measure this uh, electric charge difference. So, in principle, this could work, although it relies on a whole bunch of different ideas. But can we really get 10 kilovolts out of this? Let's go see if we can. So, here we are with our setup, and now maybe this makes a bit more sense. There's a water, or water would be falling through these tubes here, and we're going to measure the voltage difference here. So, let's turn on our water. air bubbles out here. So now we have water falling through here and keeping an eye on this voltage difference. Ah, we see that already a little piece of charge has popped in here. The voltage is increasing. It's up to 10 kilovolts now, up to 12, 13 kilovolts. So we have a 12 kilovolt difference here and if we kind of zoom in, we can kind of see what's happening here. These are uh, charged conductors now. As the water falls through, it becomes charged. Uh, it, the charge is induced in here. And we see that, in fact, the water is spreading out. The water droplets are flying um, all over the place here. So I can kind of um, you know, get wet. And in fact, I'm getting wet with electrically charged water. And we see that this is 10 kilovolts here, so we've, we've achieved our goal. And so somehow, um, using the principles of physics, we have generated our potential difference. And there's not a lot of electrical current here, so for instance, I can touch this. Okay, I do get zapped, but it's not too bad. Um, it's probably better to, to uh, use this grounding um, line here. And that sets this thing back down to zero. 
Um, but again, some random charge will eventually come on over and we'll see if this happens again. Okay, start to see it going up again and feedback loop starts. Voltage difference is up to 10 kilovolts. It also gets quieter because the water is, is not falling down in a big solid drip. It's being spread out uh, as it goes through. So anyway, we have now um, we have now demonstrated a 10 kilovolt difference from just from falling water. And I, I'm not aware of anybody who's used this as a principle for generating electricity anywhere, uh, but maybe you'll have some ideas. So again, this is not magic, this is physics, and uh, I'll see you next time. Well, thanks for watching. It looks like I survived today. Um, but if you want to find out if I survive the next experiment, then um, remember to click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.